you were at the club, Martin. We, we always say and we're agreed on it. It's a giant. It in is English a giant. Football. Absolutely. It um, is. Are they going to start going in the right direction under this man? Well, very much so. Uh, yeah, I felt that since he stepped into the football club, he's, uh, his uh, his track record is excellent. Uh, I thought that he had kind of harshly treated at at Arsenal in that sense. If that's the case, oh well, you know, at least I I never th- sure he got a, a fair crack of the whip. Anyway, that's beside the point. That's in the past, and he's going forward with Villa now at this minute. Yeah, and I I think they're in terrific hands. He get clobbered for making wholesale changes in Europe last week. Was it? Not imperative, but he certainly could have done with getting three points yesterday and did. Oh, well, first of all, he's had a look at the group and uh, I, I'm sure that he thought that when he picked the side, they changed the side around, that they might still get some something out of the game. As it turns out, they were beaten 3-2. It was in Legia Warsaw. And uh, they were not bad, no, no, no mugs at all. But I think he'll feel that uh, during this, uh, during that group, that he will, you know, win enough matches to to be uh, to get through. And I think that's the case. And sometimes you have to rest players. Believe it or not, I'm still, you know, I I did exactly the same quite uh, in 2009. We're in the final 32 of the um, Europa League. Uh, we've drawn the game at home. We're still trying to get into the top four. And that's what I thought the Aston Villa fans wanted. This was not, it was in the 32, it wasn't in the quarterfinals, it wasn't in the semi-final. And uh, so I changed the side around. People think I played a youth team, I played three young players and uh, a back four, a back five that actually played against Everton at Goodison Park the previous week or t- uh, 10 days earlier than that there in the FA Cup. So, uh, you know, some of these boys were half-decent players as well too. So anyway, I seemingly it was... Uh, um, a non-forgiving uh, moment and and it carried on I think if we had won the next league game we were 2-0 up against Stoke and we drew 2-2 with only about 3 or 4 minutes to go so we conceded two late goals that aside this is a different issue now I've got that off my chest forget about that yes. there only for but he, like we're, he, he we, comes in he's we, something I'm going to say I'm going no, to damn we well are say in, the, the, sorry <clears throat> Aston Villa in the right lines there's yeah. no question about that there and, uh, so and probably, he's an excellent manager he's a proper manager this is a man that's yeah. got a 50, best part of 55% win record for his entire career yeah. and then another 20% draw record so this is a guy that guarantees you pretty much 60, 70 points a season, mm. which puts you in the top six of a division every single year, wherever you are. And the treatment of Arsenal was post-Wenger, post-change, post-everything, and and people parodied his accent, parodied the choices. He had a problem um, with the midfielder, Grant Xhaka, that, Granit Xhaka, sorry, that ultimately fell out of the fans. He's a top manager, and it's not surprising. And I'll go with Martin. The, ga- the game midweek, not an ideal result, but they'll have enough in them to go through the group, and that's the end of the game. That's the job is done. And in the league, they've got... They've got 12 points out of 6 games this is this is the start they wanted it's coming off from last season they were a good side they were a decent side I mean it's a Europa Conference League Martin and you have poo-pooed it it ain't, I, it ain't worth winning where does it where no, should it lie no no it's, it's, it's not it's not a competition I did, it's not a competition Jim you kind of change words around you know, well I, said I, I, Martin yeah I changed the words around no well, I didn't it's not a competition I, not, it's not worth winning it's not worth winning it's, it is when you're in it it's worth winning of course they're in it just to say when you are in it, and this is what I said, it's not a co- it's not a competition that, in the sense that you have you have the Champions League, you have the Nobody Europa League, to be and in the that's European enough. This is it. Asked you. it is it is a privilege <laughs> to play in European football. But as I said, as I said rather sarkily, that oh that, right, you're being yeah, sarky. that yes, that if you avoid relegation now, you could get into that competition. And that's the point, and that's uh, and uh, yeah. So and where should it be in Villa's list of priorities? Uh, well, then? like down there, meaningless. Not not meaningless. You're in not it. Not worth winning. I've just said to you, if you're in a competition, it's worth winning. If somebody puts you in for a darts competition, it's worth winning. Yeah. All right. So it's so as simple as that. Is, really. No, what you're doing no, is you know you're, you're, what, you are, top. what you're doing is you're being Machiavellian in your characterisation. Yeah. Nobody aspires oh, thank you. from a big club to be in the European Conference League. If you're in it, go win it. If you're asking somebody that's won the European Cup, what does mm. he think of the European Conference League? You're mm. going to get an answer that you've got. But by the same token, like Spurs are in it. Once you're in it, if you're in it, go win it. But no one's sitting there going. Stop grovelling to Mark. I'm not. I'm telling you the it's same. If you won, I'm telling if you the same thing. Talking to someone who's won the European Cup. But that's true. But also by the same token, I said this before. Before Martin was in the 
studio and before Martin was with us, you asked me the same questions and then you recharacterize it and try and use it as a weapon to weaponize the conversation. Look, European no, Conference League is a third tier competition. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're in it, go win it. But who would want to be in it? You want to be in the Champions League or you want to be in the Europa League. If you find yourself in the European Conference League, it's, okay, it's what it is. So yeah. go on and win it. The fact is, it's worth winning because then you get in the Europa League. That's why it's worth winning. That's being what in. makes it more meaningful. Yeah. But that, I, exactly, and, the incentive I, is and I'm there. quite sure that the manager will go and try and win it. Yeah, absolutely, he will go and try and win it. Is that his priority? I think he must be looking at certainly in, in the top six, nearly made it last season. Surely top got six, to be and, at and it. perhaps with the way the league's going at this minute, if Chelsea are at, at struggling a little bit, yeah. and if Manchester United are struggling a little bit, they might think that top four is not beyond them. It's just that it, when you said somewhat sarcastically that uh, you might come up against various teams who have been relegated, that suggests that it's kind of down there. It well, is. it is you know going, what I mean? It is it going is. there. Yeah. It and is that's going. what I was driving at. It's up there with the Toto no. Cup. But you're no, right, you're, you're right you, to point you, out that Martin won the European Cup. Indeed. So there's a bit Thank of you. that with Martin this proper, morning. The proper Thank European you. Cup, not the rebadged European Cup, which is the Champions League with United of not being champions. Yeah. yeah. You and Martin Pals this morning. No. Big Pals. No, Just calling it for what it is. Yeah. Okay, it's good. Monday morning, coming up to 11. Jim White. Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport